place! What is that? My child can pry this loose. What is it? Cobblestone. Okay, just uprooting stuff. <laughs> what is this little dog doing? An anxious little dog attempts to frantically get the town's guard's attention as they stand watch in front of the smoking ruins of the burned down shop. Please, you have to listen to me. My friend is missing. The guard stifles a yawn, annoyed at having to work. Oh yeah? What's your friend look like? The sleeves of the sheepdog's oversized sweater flail about comically. She's about yay tall, wears a green vest, has black wool. So she's one of them sheep, huh? Probably just got lost. You know, them types ain't too bright. She didn't get lost. She's gone missing. Her wool shop was burnt down on purpose. Can't you smell it in the air? Calm down, sir. We're investigating the situation. But I'm sure this fire was a simple accident. I bet your friend just left the kettle on or something. Why don't you check with the ram in the town square? If anyone knows where the lost sheep is, it's probably him. How can you say that? Everyone knows that the ram hates the black sheep. I forgot everything about the ram. <laughs> Look at these footprints. I bet his goons had something to do with this. Listen, you're starting to get on my nerves. Just leave this to the professionals, all right? He turns away from the dog and goes back to doing absolutely nothing. Professionals indeed. They couldn't find a fish in a frying pan. I better look into this funny business myself. Ah, this is the ram! No! Well, we'll do it anyways. <laughs> I didn't mean to... I literally just was wanting to see if the dog was anything else, but I totally forgot the dog was the start of this. What is that? What is this? Rat nest? I'm sorry. That's a freaking long tail. You have a snake for a tail. Oh, and then we still got shiny lure. Oh, he's a pick pickpocketer. Pigeon. Villager. I could pick pickpocket a villager. Okay, let's go find the ram. Man, the ram is a little racist, if you ask me. I could collect everything I can. Is this him? Look at all these sheeple. I can't believe them. <laughs> Oh, man, look at your face. Listen closely, brothers and sisters. We must wear our wool proudly and show the world that that plain is best. That's right. Plain wool is the best wool. All of these outlandish colors and head-splitting patterns do nothing but confuse and enrage the senses. They are the product of misled individuals. And as we all know, individuals are weak. Only the united are strong. Together, we speak louder than a single voice. Wait, are all the colors bad then? What about gray? It's almost plain white. Gray is forbidden. Gray is a gateway to blue. And when, when there's blue, green isn't far behind. Then what's next? Yellow? Purple? Even red? Oh, no, anything but red. No. Always remember, color leads to discord, to chaos, and with chaos, the wolves will come for us all. Aye, not the wolves. Watch out, there's one right there. The nearest sheep nearly jumps out of his fleece when it notices you. I am not a wolf, you halfwits. Maybe not, but you're different, and that's just as bad. Uh, right, boss? That's right. So what is an outsider want with us? Are you here to tempt my flock with your anarchic ideals? I doubt you lots would have room in your heads for any more ideals. But no, I'm here looking for the black sheep. It seems her shop was burned down last night. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Bah! That bothersome black sheep is a thorn in my side. Never heeds my warnings. Always goes against what's good and proper. But I assure you, I was tending my flock all night, so I had nothing to do with her disappearance. That little sheepdog begs to differ. He says you've always had it out for the black sheep, and I'm inclined to believe him with all your prattling. Lies and slander! You have no proof of any wrongdoing! For all we know, she may have just left the kettle on. As the sheep stomp about, you notice flakes of ash leaving black marks on the cobblestone of the village square. Proof, eh? Looks like to me some of your flock have sooty feet. I wonder where this suspicious trail will lead. Oh! You guys got dirty feet! 
I'll need to reveal the trail. How? Unveiling powder. This? Oh good, I have enough. Thank God. Ooh. Okay. You sprinkle the revealing powder over the cobblestone to reveal hidden footprints still blackened by ash. It appears as though several individuals were dragging something away from the town square last night. Were you guys taking the black sheep out of town? That's so mean! She did nothing to you! Oh, who is this? Who is this? Who is, who is an elf? Cute villager pickpocket. Oh, a cute little elf! And then a fountain for something. Oh, went this way. A struggle must have occurred here. You find the rem remnants of a torn burlap sack and some scattered fistfuls of wool. The footprints leading the away look to be moving at a great speed, like someone was being chased. Oh, this poor little sheep! Where? Oh, where? Oh, up here. Oh, this place is big. Oh, are these little flowers? What can I do with this? What is that? Oh, petals! Nice. More! More powder! You act like I'm rich! Okay, where now? A pair of lone footprints duck into this veg into this vegetable garden. You notice some more footprints searching in confused directions farther afield. The black sheep must have been trying to hide from her pursuers. Maybe she managed to throw them off her trail? Is she in here? Oh, she moved over here. Oh, so she made it out! Freak yeah! Is she just hiding now? Oh, <laughs> what is this? That's cute! After following the ashen trail through the back streets, you come to a dead end. Your only company is a stone gargoyle squatting atop a building corner. You stand on your tiptoes to examine the great carved demon closer, noting the lovely knitted scarf billowing around its neck. Hmm. What a fine garment. I could do with this with a new one. It's starting to get chilly. I just hope it hasn't got any of that bird poo on it. As you reach up to unwrap the scarf, the gargoyle's eyes swivel in their sockets with a sound like two grinding millstones. Well, excuse me. I'm quite fond of this avian excrement, actually. It adds a touch of authenticity to the whole ensemble, don't you think? Oh, I beg your pardon. Didn't realize I was speaking to a watcher. Ha! <laughs> A watcher? Why is that no one ever comes to watch me? I'm handcrafted from the finest block of artisanal granite, so massively chiseled that I came to life. Nothing on this earth or beyond has a greater claim to beauty than I, and yet, day after day, I sit up here and no one gives me so much as a passing glance. Well, maybe if you cleaned up once in a while. Oh, hush, I don't need to take fashion tips from you. And besides, you only looked up at me because of this fabulous scarf. Admit it. I was merely following this trail of sooty footprints, but now that you mention it, that scarf has a fine knit to it. You didn't happen to get it from the black sheep, did you? Why, where else would I have gotten something so swanky in this dreary little town? That black sheep is the only other person around here that appreciates good taste. Unlike that ghastly ram always ringing that gaudy bell of his of his and poo-pooing everywhere else is fun. This world is alive and needs a good splash of color once in a while. You know where the black sheep is then? Now hold on, how do I know you are not another agent of the banality like the ram? Just look at that skirt. So last century. You have to prove you're an ally of the fashion scene before I say another word. Now, I've had my eyes on some new shoes for ages. Why don't you just snag a pair from the village? Surely no one will notice. Pah! Those clogs aren't fit for a horse. No, got my heart set on elf shoes. Delicate, dainty, exquisite, and absolutely to die for. Plus, I could do with a nice hat to go with my fetching scarf, and maybe some needle and thread to do some alterations. Okay. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around to uh, stand around idle. Three elf shoes. Well, if I count up here, a little one and a two, you only have two. Sewing kit, gnome hat. All right, you little goober. There are some. I saw some reeds up here, so I'll just blink. Wow, just one. No more. No less. Oh, I just realized that's really cute. The little black sheep statue. 
Who would burn such a cute building? She seems to have done nothing wrong. Cool. Okay. Uh, what the frick are you? Deep one. Are you mad at me? You are. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, there's sheep here too. You guys out here spreading the word? Join the flock. Follow the ram today. Okay, whatever. What is that? Shore skipper. This fish seems to have skipped a few evolutionary steps. Crab trap. Okay, let me get... Oh, there's actually crabs here too. Gosh, what are all these people? Fish or woman? The people here have a certain look. Yeah, they're fish. Or crab traps. I need... Oh gosh, everything's angry at me. Okay. Need that. What is that? Why do I keep hitting the wrong button? Peculiar growth. Oh. Oh, is that the teleporter? That might be the teleporter. Two... It's two... So, what? That is such a weird way to start a word. To so many passers-by, this seems yet another collection of crusty barnacles clinging to the surface of a stone until the, t the tide next surges. But you can spot the inconsistencies, the irregularities within the scattered arrangement. And with a single exacting touch, the illusion falls away. Alright, cool. So we have the portal to that now. That little girl, I think, is the starter of the next quest. But I got your little boxy boo. What is it gonna be? You're so confused, you're gonna blow your top off? I <laughs> get it? Top? Your hat? Not your shirt. I, I don't care about your shirt. Look at that! What do you think? Alright, bye! <laughs> okay, he just disappears into the abyss. Got it. Poor little dude, he just wanted to solve things. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's coming. Okay. You like it? Yeah, little duber. Can I search this? <gasps> oh, rodent lard. Ew. Anything over here? Oh, rat nest. <gasps> Ow! Frick, I didn't see the dog. Ah! I'm gonna die! <gasps> I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! No! I'm fine. <laughs> Ooh, Nelly! Oh, Nelly! We have the entire fit for our buddy boy over here who wants to look fabulous. Hopefully he likes it. Can we actually see him wear it? That would be cute. Uh, here you go. I got your thingies. Uh, elf shoes. You set the tiny footwear aside. Well, okay. Sorry. Sewing kit. You tuck the sewing kit in a safe nook nearby. And no hat. You set the no hat nearby. As you present the handful of tiny clothing, the gargoyle the gar 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 lets out a grinding screech. Eee! <laughs> what? What's wrong? These are simply magnificent. <laughs> the excited statue seems thrilled about elf shoes in particular. You nearly gave me a heart attack, and I don't see what's so great about those things. They're barely the size of thimbles. Ignoring you, the gargoyle slips the minuscule shoes onto his wiggling toes. Oh, but aren't they just lovely? <laughs> and they match my scarf! Well, I think you look ridiculous. Now tell me where the black sheep is, or I'll turn you into gravel next. No need to wrinkle up your rags. I carried her out to a secret grove in the woods to hide from the ram. Even managed to save some of her stock as well. Since you've shown yourself to be no friend to the ram, I guess I could fly you out there too. The gargoyle uh, flexes the heavy stone wings on his back. Ah! Well, that was nice of him. Ah, there she is. Oh, she is stressed. <laughs> she is stressing out. Hey, lady. Oh, she's so cute. Look at her hat. Ah, stay back. The ram sent you to finish me off, didn't he? Oh, crackers. I knew I couldn't trust that gargoyle to keep a secret. Calm down. I didn't come to fleece you. In fact, I came to see why that miserable ty tyrant tried to run you out of town. You glance around at the rescued rolls of patterned fabrics and balls of colored yarn. All because of this lovely textile work? I never meant to cause trouble. I just wanted to make beautiful clothing. But the ram saw my work as some affront to his great vision. He wants all us sheep to dress the same, think the same, be the same, but I don't understand. 
Why can't we be different? The loudest voice is seldom the wise. Tears well up in the sheep's wide set eyes. They burned down my shop. Wool shop and tried to kidnap me. I only barely got away. Thankfully, that helpful gargoyle was able to salvage some of my things from the fire. At a time like this, knitting clothing is the only thing I could do to calm my nerves. I hope I have enough yarn to last me. My poor spinning wheel was broken on the journey here, so I don't think I can make any more. A shame. I'm too, I'm, I too am a weaver of sorts. Your wheel can't possibly be beyond repair. Could I take a look at it? If you think it would help, be my guest. Where? Oh, here. I can whip up a spell to restore this in no time. Uh, what spell? Restorative idol. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mandrake root. Mandrake root. Oh, mosquito blood. Aww. This one's a long one. This one. This, this one's making me run for my money. And pumpkin jack bone, which means I need snare vine, which means I need more mosquito stuff. Okay, and I need smoke bombs to get the mosquito stuff, and that means I have enough for that. Alright, so I need to run off to the swamp. Take me away, please. Okay, what is... Ha oh! Sorry, ma'am, but I must warn you, the graveyard's not safe right now. If you got flowers, I can go lay them... I right, can go lay them at a grave if you want. Blech. When I croak, nobody better bring me pois posies. What's the matter? Uh, something's got the spirits of this place riled up in a real bad way. All restless and cranky, they is. There's this horrible howling coming from the mansion up the road. A scream that chilled the bumps out right off your goose. Every time I gather up my wits to go take a look-see, my knees turn to jelly as soon as I set foot on the path. Mark my words, that creepy old place is haunted by something more than just a sleepless spirit. Puh, ghost stories are for children. When you get to be my age, it takes something special to put the fright in you. Well, if you're so sure about that, could you go up there and tell me what you see? Maybe it has something to do with what's going on with all these ghosts? That what's got all these ghosts so agitated? Uh... I just came here for mandrakes. Not a sob story. The mansion's up there. Uh, so I need a mandrake. Can I collect that? Oh, I can. I just thieved. The frick is that? What is going on? I just... Ah! Oh! Oh! Mandrakes just grow on dead bodies. Cool. Oh! Okay! That's, that's nice. Very nice. Not nice. Thank you. Goodbye. Got my mandrake roots. I'm out. Ooh, and traps. Ooh, and salt. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, and there's water here. Okay, I gotta remember that. Uh, actually, let me see if I can find the portal here real quick. Um, I don't really want to waste the opportunity. Because I don't want to walk around everywhere I go. What are you? Oh, here's the portal. Easy. Where one might expect the door to... A mausoleum here instead stands a shrine adorned heavily with skulls, perhaps at a tier closer inspection. But their arrangement does not serve the dead nor their memory, instead being placed to a mask a path beyond. Your knowing fingers reduce it to a dust with a tap. There we go. Okay, lady. I got what we needed. Hopefully that helps. As good as new. A few splints and some elbow grease and she's all ready to go. Wow, really? Thank you so much. What can I ever do to repay you? I think together we should repay that stinking ram for causing this mess in the first place. I have an idea to knit him a cardigan he won't soon forget. Why, a special gift? That's a lovely idea. But it will need a personal touch. Some wool collected from those dim-witted followers of his should do the trick. Hmm, the ram guards his flock like an ogre. You won't be able to get a single hair off them with him watching. That is a problem. Oh, unless you find his missionaries. Sometimes the ram sends out loyal sheep to spread the word. Why, I bet if anyone could find them, it's you. You found me, after all. He spouts his gibberish to the corners of the world. Uh, where are these missionaries? Nearer than you think. 
They usually travel to the docks, the graveyard, and the market. Well, now we're going to the market. <laughs> a shame they won't have the ram's protection. Uh, I've got plenty of fleece here, but if you need something special of mine, just put it by the spinning wheel. Three sheep wheel, metamorphous elixir, and crypt crawler silk. Ah, uh, crypt crawler silk, I'm assuming is in the graveyard. Uh, and then soothing root, metamorphous elixir. I need freaking changeling root. <laughs> ah! All right. All right, you know, I got it. I got it. Let's let 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 me uh let me cry. Um, I know that we saw one at the dogs. I'm just gonna go walk to him right now. Hey, boo. What do you mean unknown? Here to spread the worldly word of his would-be messiah. All right, buddy. I want to talk to him. Hey, hey, you. You know what stinks around here? Your breath. Maybe cut back on the crabgrass. Ha <laughs> ha very funny! Talking about all these mismatched folks! Walking around like disgusting individuals! Don't they care about unity at all? Aren't they lonely? Don't they want to be a part of something bigger? How, how are they not full to the brim with pure horror of existential dread? You leave the sheep to spiral deeper in his own metaphysical spit. Hmm, this fellow seems to be projecting some deep-seated issues. Perhaps if I give him a little push, he won't mind if I pilfer some of his wool. Bottled Despair Recipe. This poor little sheep is about to just get so much dread. Oh, weird water. Oh, Hey, sir! You're good for nothing! Nothing you do will matter! Cry! Cry! The sheep's eyes glaze over as he looks deep into his soul and sees only nothingness. What's the point of it all? I, I'm so alone. Poor fella. He'll feel better when the curse lifts, but it'll be too late for his wool. Snip, snip. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, can I just get three? I mean, he's got a whole lot. You collect a clump of wool and pat the sheep on his fluffy head. There, there. Things aren't always so bad. Why don't you run off home to your flock? Y you're right. Maybe I'm not so alone after all. The sheep wipes away a dewy tear from his face and lopes off towards the village. Sweet. Now, oh, there was one in the graveyard. I haven't seen the graveyard one. We've been in the graveyard this entire time. I did not watch the graveyard guy need stuff from the de the beach. This is this the type of game to uh, to do that. All right, where are you? Spreading your propaganda, spreading your lies. Oh, there was water right here. I did not need to go to the freaking. Well. I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. Maybe I should follow this ram guy since I'm dumb enough to forget the simplest of things. Where are you? You're not by the freaking. Oh. Oh, that's where I get the cryptic webs, I bet. Where is. Uh, I know he can't be, like, in the mansion area, can't. Oh, there he is. Hey, loser. Why are you up here? Who- why would you come here to recruit people if everyone here is dead? Who's there? Show yourself in the name of Ram! No need to be jumpy, my friend. I'm just a lonely old woman coming to grieve. Oh, I thought you were one of those nasty ghosts. Usually this place is pretty dull, but lately there's been nothing but angry spirits! He glances over his shoulder in near panic. Oh, why did the ram send me here? This place gives me the creeps. You scratch your cauldron <laughs> in thought as the sheep jumps at nearby patches of mist. Oh, look how cute they are. They are harmless. Looks like all I need to do is give this chap a good fright and his wool will be mine for the picking. Haunted mannequin recipe. Oh boy, what is this going to take? What is that? Ghostly ectoplasm. Dreadful doll. I need to make that. Okay. And I need to go get grain. Great. I love doing that. And then I need... This like ectoplasm. Is that from this guy who's just like wandering around chilling out? Because he seems freaking creepy. I need bat wings. How do I get bat wings? Probably in the crypt, actually. Uh, excuse me, man. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, he's a weeper. I thought he was something else. 
There'll be bats in the crypt? Uh, let's see... Okay. Alright. Whoa! Spooky! That's the spider we need. Arachnicide? What was that? End cap. Chances are there's a corpse in here as well. I mean, wh why let me look at it then? <laughs> no bats here? Oh, excuse me. Uh, nah, excuse me. No bats? Hey, how you doing? Uh,. Hey, what's what's popping? No bat wings. All right, got it. Nice, nice seeing you. Bye. Ooh. Nice. Dang it, it wastes one too. Oh, but I get blood too. Nice. All right, Bucko, I got your stupid little mannequin. Now scream for me. Aww. The skittish sheep nearly jumps out of his pelt in horror. Hey! Now's my chance to shear his wool before he comes back to his senses. Cool. Snip. Nice. You quickly snip a handful of wool from his quaking body. Forget this! I don't care how angry the ram gets! I'm going back to the flock! Smart choice. Smart man. I wouldn't want to hang here anyways. All the ghosts are so pissed off. Well, except for this guy. This guy's just very sad. Poor guy. He, he just needs a hug. I can't hug him, though. He's a ghost. Obviously. What's cooking in here, huh? More mimics? Are you a mimic? You suck! I hate the little tuft of fur. Ooh, I do not need to see your pubes. Thank you. Let's see, where is this? Sh there he is. Oh, this place is kind of nice, though. Is this a- hold on, are you having a mimic here? <gasps> it's not a mimic. Oh, but I can't use it. Oh. Oh, those guys are arguing. Okay. Oh, is this the portal? A great offering of produce sits before this effigy, but you glimpse a single telltale marker secreted into one of the baskets. A quick tug, and the illusion is dispelled. Alright, sweet. So now we have the teleporter for that. Here you go. Hey, buddy. Hey, excuse me, madam. Have you heard about the ram? The one true leader. Oh, truly. I don't have time for this. Just look at all these clothing stalls around us. It's it's revolting. So many patterns. They make my eyes water with rage. Oh, I'll show you some eye-watering patterns, all right. A good magic show ought to set you spinning. Pre wow, that's a word. Prestigitation deck recipe. Yep, I know what that is. Mmm, uh... Huh? Huh? What is all this now? Glitter bomb? Oh, I've done a glitter bomb before. Right? This is a little early on. No? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Where is the- Okay. And now I need shiny lure. Which, thankfully, I can make. Okay, this one actually might be the easiest one so far. Now I just need to find... Muscles. Skipper scales. No. Skipper scales. So does that have to deal with the fish people? Are the fish people skippers? Are you a skipper? Are you the skipper? You are. Okay. That makes so much more sense. I forgot you guys existed. Um, I need to make two of those. Wow, I am so low on reads right now. Please tell me that this is enough. Please tell me you dropped two. Please, please just drop two. Did you drop two? Oh, I love you. Well, I don't really love you, but I appreciate you. And you gave me meat. I appreciate your meat. Never mind. I made the press degradation, mcfullation, aperturation deck. Oh, this lamb is gonna be so bamboozled by my card tricks. Here we go. <laughs> Dazzle! <laughs> Ooh, look at that! You like that? The sheep goes cross-eyed at the blinding display of pure magical speculation as you shuffle the deck of enchanted cards. Ah! It's so... It's so... Ah! I can't see! That's right. Keep your eyes on the pretty colors while I shear you bald. Aww, poor little buddy. Thank you. Before the sheep can recover his eyesight, you snip a healthy patch of wool from his backside. 
bad. I can still see the colors even when I close my eyes. Out of my way. I can't preach like this. I've got a have to I've got to get back to the flock. Alright, bucko. Okay. All that, huh? Now I need to make arachnicide. Ah, oh, there's where the soots come in and potion of blight. And thankfully I can make another potion of blight. Okay. And I can make arachnicide, and hopefully that gives me what I need for crawler silk. I have everything you need, lady! Everything! Alright, sheep wool. Three lots of wool taken from the ram's flock are most eager to please any hand that guides them. I've got plenty of fleece here. Yep, okay. Metamorphous elixir. A metamorphous elixir will really make these garments pop. <laughs> and crypty, crypt crawler silk. Crypt crawlers walk the line between the mundane and the supernatural, and their silk holds the key to that boundary. With all the goods at hand, you wave the black sheep over to the spinning wheel to get started. A bit stiffer than I'm used to, but I can work with this. She rolls up her sleeves and prepares the bobbin. As the black sheep manages the wheel, you assist by weaving your own magic into the fibers as you feed them through the device. Dazzling colors of every hue shoot out of the whirling wheel, sending sparks dancing into the underbrush. Soon, a large ball of rainbow-tinted yarn is wound together. Wow, we didn't even have to use any of the any dye! I can use your help anytime! She gathers up the yarn and admires it before handing it to you. <gasps> so pretty! Oh, so cute! My thanks to you. I couldn't have done it without your skill at the wheel. Say, you should think about returning to the village soon. Your little doggy friend is qu it was quite worried about you last time I saw him. Oh my gosh! I was such in a panic, I completely forgot about him! But what about the ram and his flock? I'm a goner if I go back there! You leave that to me. Oh! It's time! Is this really all we need? Rainbow yarn to piss him off? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of great, honestly. Revisit the ram at the village square. Hey, buddy! Hey, how you doing? Color is the path to division, and division is the bedfellow of damnation. Bah, bah, bah. Gosh, it's like they're all like formed into one ball. But this guy seems over it. <laughs> You twist the length of your multicolored thread into a makeshift lasso. The shifting colors make the thread appear to be alive. What nonsense! I'll just loop my magic yarn around each of, each of these sheep and show them the world is more than black and white. Oh, really? Here you oh, that's cool! <laughs> Look at you, you're dancing! Yeah, everybody, everybody, it's party time, it's party time, look at that, fashionable, way better than before. Stopping in the middle of his sermon, the ram notices that his flock is no longer paying attention to him. Oh, look, they look so good! The flock turns away from the ram's raving and fu fully enraptured by the colorful thread. Hey, what are you fools doing? This is the black sheep's work. Wow, we just assumed it was ugly because the ram said so. No, you idiots. It's wrong. Have you forgotten everything I taught you? Ha <laughs> ha Look at all these wild colors. I never knew wool could be so neat. Stop looking at the colors. Amongst the commotion, the voice of the black sheep pipes up. Oh, um, thank you. I'm so glad that you all appreciate my handiwork. Are you kidding? This is the most amazing wool we've ever seen. Where can we get some more? Stop. Listen to me. Oh, wow, look at all these customers. We need to get that shop of yours r up and running again. You're right. Oh my, this is also overwhelming. Looks like it's time to roll up my sleeves and get back to work. Does this mean you'll reopen your wool shop? We'll help fix it up again if it means we can get more of these fantabulous colors. Arrgh! The ram swings his bronze belt harder and harder, desperately trying to be heard over the joyful celebrations of his flock. Is that it? He just turned into it? Oh my, what in the dickens happened? I guess he cleaned that awful belt just a little too hard. Gave his own head a proper ringing until it couldn't take any more. You glance over to the ram's empty soapbox. A fitting end, I suppose. A shepherd is nothing without his flock. Oh! You pick up the bell, but not a sound emanates from it. 
something is muffled. You turn it over to look inside and find the metal clanger is covered in a familiar bristly white wool. The soul of the ram. Oh, that was a good one. Oh my gosh, that was cool. Oh, I wanted to see, um, real quick, uh, if in the farm, for the farm, can we, uh, let me see. Shoot, where am I look? Where's the teleporter? I want to see if the mom and baby ox is back home. I didn't know if, like, they just are disappeared with the ox or what. Because, I, I don't know, in my memory, I think they do come back, but I don't really want to take my... I, I, I'm refusing to believe myself, basically. I don't think they were there, were they? Let me see. Oh, they were! Oh. Standing at the front gate, the ox's missing wife and son blink in confusion as if they had just burst forth from the earth itself. Ma? What happened? Ah, welcome back. I suppose you don't remember much. He really did it, didn't he? That stupid festival prize was worth more to him than us. Where is he? Where is my husband? Don't fret. I've already set things straight. He won't be troubling you again. And you've got this nice fertile farm all to yourself now. My son and I worked ourselves to the bone for that horrible man. Thank you for lifting the curse. Just do me a favor and don't make any deals with suspicious scarecrows. Ah. Don't worry now, child. We won't ever have to fear him again. Dang. But why is he still here? Scarecrow again stands motionless. Hopefully we can get this place running. It took me a lot of poison to destroy this place. Aww. Well, they have this garden to work on. Aww. With the music, too? Making my heart melt a little. <sighs> kind of weird that she married an ox, though. I can't lie. You know, I don't know if she views him as an ox or whatever. And then they had a human child as well. I don't know if that makes sense to me. But hey, there's nothing I can do about it. <laughs>